Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video we're going to walk you through how to create a single listing page in the My Listing theme. So we're going to go ahead and get started and we're going to navigate to Listing Tools and Listing Types. And for our demo we're going to work with Places. Now you may have different listing types here so this will be uh, global for whichever one you choose. So from there we're going to, go to switch to Single Page. And from here, we have three sub tabs. We have cover style, cover buttons, and content and tabs. So under cover style, we have a few different options for the cover style of the listing. Cover image, we have a gallery slider if you're allowing your uh, front end users to upload a gallery of pictures, and then we have none. So it'll basically be nothing will be there at all. We have the ability to go ahead and add default listing uh, logos and cover images over here. So if somebody doesn't upload one, we have the ability to go ahead and add those here as a fallback. So it's pretty simple for the cover style. So let's go ahead and move on to cover buttons. And now these are going to be buttons that are going to be overlaid into cover style. So you'll see them right here in this area. Let's go ahead and cover buttons and we're going to add a few. So let's go ahead and give it a few options. We want them to be able to share this. So let's do share. The label, this is going to be the field. So it'll say, you know, share or something like that. We don't want a label at all. Or if you wanted to say share this listing, you can add that. And then we can have a button icon. Let's search for share. And then we can choose a button style, primary outline, secondary, plain. And we can go ahead and add more buttons as we need it. So we can go ahead and add a add review, uh, bookmark the listing. So we can just do that and we can have a heart icon right there. So we have those two right there. Uh, button style, let's do outline again. So let's do action. We can do a claim listing, display the rating. We can do a book if you guys are doing a booking feature. Add a review, uh, bookmark, and share field. And you can also do a field value. So if you select a field over here, you can go ahead and select and show a field value. So a custom field, you can go ahead and add that. And then it will get the information from the custom fields right there. Heading, title, whatever you guys want to offer. So if you guys want to put a phone number in it, and you guys have a phone number field, it'll show up here. You can go ahead and type in and put in their phone number right there. Let's do, uh, for right now, should to add a review. Review this vendor. And a button icon for a star. So we do something like that. So from there, we can just hit save, and everything is saved in right here. And we're good to go for the cover buttons. Let's move on to content and tabs. So from there, we have a blank um, section right here so basically this is going to be how people navigate through all of your information so from here let's go ahead and add a new tab and you always have to at least have one or else nothing none of your fields are going to show up so if you have the issue or none of your fields show up be sure to add a tab here and then start adding all of your information down here in the content blocks so right here we have our new page and we're going to name this profile because this is going to be the profile you can also name this information whatever you guys want to do here for the layout we can do a masonry so we do two column a masonry layout basically they'll stack on top of each other here but then they'll separate uh, into a masonry layout once it's on the front end you can do two columns two thirds one third one third two thirds and a single column so depending on how you want it to look you can go ahead and choose this the most popular one's probably going to be two columns or two thirds one third and you can see a little bit of a preview here. So we have a few of the fields. So let's go ahead and start entering those in. To add a new field, all you have to do is go down to the block and let's add a new one. So let's go ahead and add a uh, the text area. This is going to be a description area. So let's type in description. Use field description. Put an icon in there if we want to. You can add an ID or a class to it if you wish. And then you have your description text right there. Let's go ahead and add some more items. Uh, we have categories, tags, terms, 
uh, regions. Um, we can add short codes and static codes as well, all of our work hours. So let's go ahead and add a few more things. Uh, for the location, we can go ahead and add that. It'll add like a nice map. We can go ahead and click drag that over here. Uh, we can go ahead and add the, use whichever field we want for that. Uh, let's do a social networks. I know we have that so we can go ahead and add this over here and it'll have the social networks over here so you can always choose the icon if you want to remove this icon you can go ahead and click this remove button right here let's see and then this can be changed for the label so you could do follow us something like that we have some work hours so let's go ahead and add the work hours we have this awesome icon here and we can do hours of operation something along those lines. Then we can add a few more of the options. So go through and really um, pick which ones you want to go ahead and add. So let's go ahead and add some categories. Put those over here. We can also add our terms. Sorry, our tags. Do that as well. So we have all of this right here on the front end. So that's underneath of content and tabs. And once we hit update, we can go ahead and have this save. Once this is saved, we can go ahead and go to a listing that we have and we can go ahead and view it. So we have our description, we have our hours of operation, we have the follow us Facebook, we have the share listing, bookmark, and review this vendor. So those are three different style buttons. And we all have the ability to edit and report the listing because we own this listing. So we have all of those options available for us. Uh, it's very customizable. So whichever layout you want for this content, you can have it. So two thirds, one third, uh, single, all the way across, things of that nature. So you can go ahead and choose whichever one you want to do. Um, and then you can always add more content and tabs if you want to by going under and hitting add new tab and you can have your comments and reviews, things of that nature. So you can always have that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, be sure to comment below and we will see you guys at the next one. Thanks.